Aham Brahma Asmi. Yes, Nityanam guys, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Sri Nityananda Paramashiva. So I got a comment in previous video, what does Aham Brahma Asmi mean? And I'm going to share that in this video. And um, also, I wanted to uh, answer in continuity with the video I made yesterday about how old is Hinduism. I want to make a video so I, about a few facts that when you see an introductory video about Hinduism on YouTube, they will mention a few facts. And uh, sometimes the information is incorrect or incomplete. And so I wanted to share whatever I have started to cognize as, um, yes, as the truth about these different dimensions of Hinduism. And in this video, it's about Brahman. So Hinduism, um, yes, all the ultimate reality is Brahman, especially uh, that is more the Vedantic approach. The Vedantas will bring this uh, principle of Brahman. Shaivites will have Paramashiva. Um, Shaktas will have Parashakti. Um, Vaishnavites will have Mahavishnu. So they will all have the same, but it's all the same principle, but different ways of perceiving it. Now, um, Brahman, Brahman is the ultimate reality. So one thing that is mentioned in some videos, which is true, we should not confuse with Brahman and Brahma. Brahma is the creator. He is only part of, he has his role within Brahman. But Brahma and Brahman is not the same thing. And then when we say the Mahavakya, Aham Brahma Asmi, we are talking about Brahman, not Brahma. So we're talking about this universe. This actually Brahman is like, it's like pure consciousness. It is beyond everything, the whole universe, everything that is manifested and non-manifested exists within Brahman. And so the first thing that happens by default, because we do not cognize ourselves as Aham Brahmasmi or Paramashivoham, we feel that we are, I am human, I am an identity and I am part of the whole. Yes, it is true. When you are in the cognition that you are human, you are male, you are female, you are a being, whatever, you will be part of Brahman. But that is not the ultimate reality. The ultimate reality that we have to realize and make and turn into a cognition within us is that you are not part of Brahman. You are Brahman. And that is what it means, Aham Brahma Asmi, or even Paramashivoham. Paramashiva, when you are incomplete about the whole, when you're not in oneness with Paramashiva, you will say, I am within in Paramashiva. But when you become complete with Paramashiva, you will say, I am Paramashiva. Same thing goes with Brahman. And therefore, Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi means, that's what it means. It means I am in oneness with Brahman. I am the Brahman. I am this super consciousness, which is all pervading, all powerful, all, all everything. <laughs> everything you can imagine and beyond. Actually, there's something very interesting in the Vedanta tradition. Um, they, they have this saying, saying, na iti, na iti, means that is not it, that is not it. And what Swamiji was sharing about that is that everything you can conceive with your mind, everything you can understand, everything you can grasp, anything, that is not consciousness. Consciousness is beyond that. So when you have this as an understanding, or Mahavakya, this Naiti Naiti and Aham Brahmasmi, you realize, actually Aham Brahmasmi and Naiti Naiti is not the same. I, my, understand, my experience or understanding is Naiti Naiti is more of a technique for you to realize that you are Brahman. It's more of a remembrance to allow you to, allow you to do not, to not to clutch or to grab or possess something uh, in the belief that um, in the, with the forgetfulness that you are Brahman. So, because everything you can, if you think, oh, Brahman is this. No, Brahman is, is not this. Naiti means not this. Means you think, you see an apple, you see, oh, Brahma is an apple. No, Brahma is not an apple. It's beyond apple. Actually, I think maybe beyond apple is better translation. It's beyond apple. It's also the apple. Within the apple, Brahman exists and manifests, but it's beyond the apple. So it's basically beyond everything. And I think um, Isha Vashya Upanishads, they, they talk about the glory of superconsciousness very well. So inviting you to check the satsangs of Swamiji when he talks about the Upa, uh, Isha Vashya Upanishads. Many satsangs he gave and the wonderful, wonderful mapping of the spiritual scriptures, of uh, the verses 
of the Ishala Shri Upanishad. So that is very powerful. So yeah, so Hinduism is all about everything is Brahman. Brahman is everything that exists is within Brahman. First, understand that there is something like Brahman that is possible. The possibility of Brahman is possible. Then realize that you are part of it. Then start to realize and seek and pray towards experiencing Brahman within you. And then I guess, you know, pray and seek to experience that you are Brahman and that everything is Brahman and you are that Brahman. That is the Aham, Brahm, Aham Brahmasmi. Actually, I wanted to share uh, why I like Aham Brahmasmi a lot. I mean, Paramashivoham Aham Brahmasmi is a, is a Mahavakya which expresses the same reality. But for me, I felt that Aham Brahmasmi is powerful because of the, the sound it creates. At the first time Swamiji said it, it clicked with me. Because the sound was just, it just feels so powerful. That the, the vowel of the H, you know, Aham, it's so like, you can feel the vastness and the vibration that is generated inside you. And the same goes, Brahmasmi, Brahm, that, that that vibration and at the end asmi you know it just sharp and it just cuts everything it's like this huge resonating space which just gets compressed and just at the end cut you know and it also it's an amazing experience where every time i say it i have this experience it's amazing and i don't know if you have it as well but if you do <laughs> great um and that makes me think of another thing maybe i should share about Swamiji in one of the Shava Upanishads, he talks about how the heart, nature of the heart is to want more, more and more. It is inclusive, all inclusive. And the nature of the mind is to dissect, 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 which is inclusive, ex sorry, exclusive. And Aham Brahma Asmi is when all inclusiveness and all exclusiveness happens simultaneously and that is pure consciousness and naturally your mind cannot grasp that because it doesn't make sense as per the logic with which we operate because we operate from the space that i am human we do not operate from the cog i should say we operate from the cognition that we are human we do not operate from the cognition that we are paramashiva we are brahman so yes that's what i want to share about this very important fact about hinduism uh paramashiva is ultimate Paramashiva is a, is a, Brahman is a synonym of Paramashiva and Paramashivoham is the ultimate Mahavakya, it is the reality, we should seek for it, Aham Brahmasmi and yes, contemplate on this and share your experience if you had experiences, perhaps in the way that even the experience of the sound like I shared about the Aham Brahmasmi or uh, like, comment, subscribe, I'm thanking you all for um, watching these videos and click the bell icon if you did not, so you're noticed whenever uh, videos are uploaded because sometimes even if you're subscribed YouTube does not always uh, update when there is an update but I do update I do make many videos a day so you can expect many videos a day so that's a given uh, but how many videos a day if you click the bell icon you will know so with this I'll see you guys in the next video